everyone. It is a John. I've got a very noisy little dog in the background, so I do apologise. He's having a bit of a hissy fit. We're going out today. Look, I have picked up Battletech Alpha Strike, and I really only bought it for the miniatures. <laughs> Whether or not Alpha Strike itself is a good game, I cannot say because I've not played it. But uh, I am quite happy to have picked this up. I must thank my good friend, Paul, who owns the Emperor's Legion, who got me in a copy and uh, and hung on to it until I could afford to pick it up. So let's go and have a look at what's in this box. Hello everyone, it is John. It's an unboxing of sort. Well, actually, I had to open up the box the other day, well, yesterday, actually, to find out just what was in there and make sure everything was there. But look, I have bought myself uh, Battletech Alpha Strike. And uh, what did I buy it for? Purely the mechs. <laughs> That's all I bought it for. Well, let me be more precise. Only the Innisphere mechs. I'll trade off the, the clan for somebody else who's uh, clan orientated. But clans really don't interest me at all. As, uh, as part. I know it's now an integral part of the game, but I preferred the, uh, the Fourth Succession Wars and the... Uh, just purely in a sphere. That's all I, I quite like. I have not played Alpha Strike Left yet, so I have no idea how it will play out. But I had to uh, had to pick it up. So what's in the box? Look, short story. Yep. As far as stories goes, I have no idea if it's good or bad. The other thing is the... Uh... Oh, my little dog is having a bit of a having a whinge because he knows that my wife and I are going to go out and do our do some shopping but look these cards are really nice they're uh, they're plastic um, protected dare I say it? no perhaps not protected but they're certainly um, you know quite they will last that's the word I'm looking for they're resilient Look, my English is failing me today, but look, it's, again, no idea what these what all this means yet. I'll, uh, I'll wait until a friend of mine who is far more competent in, uh, in games. Look, nice big chunky dice. Um, don't know if I quite like them, but again, dice for people who like more dice. Now, these are the, um, oh... I'm so used to calling them SSDs because I've played Starfleet Battles for so long, but it's not quite. But it's a data card, so that's it. We'll call it a data card. So this is for quick play. Obviously with the, um, the plastic coated, you should be able to write on them, but I would probably invest in uh, some card, card sleeves and pop them and pop them in accordingly. So that is... Uh, those data cards then this uh, I think these must be not sure what these are it must be something to do with the individual individual mix yeah, so these obviously the mix must be the pilots so these must be piloting cards or something that go with the uh... so yep again these actually are a slightly well these are more shall I call them standard cards so not quite as glossy or all that so yeah and of course this is the big thing which is getting for me was the mix so these are look the details you know quite good so uh, as I said, I really do like the uh, the uh, the mix. Oh God, what do I want another Battle Master for? I think I've got about four or five of them in my collection now. Never used it. I don't think I've ever used a. Uh... But look, the the Locust is a very very nice model. I like it. I think that's supposed to be a Wraith um, Phoenix Hawk. Look, I don't know. They've changed the sculpts. Quite a bit, so uh, I'd need to go have a look. But look, the the mix are certainly very nice, good quality. Now you've got a primer, 
really all that is is all about just the inner sphere uh, or the world of battle tech if i'd like to call it that so it's yeah if you've been collecting as long as i have it's yeah not incredibly necessary but obviously for new people being sucked into the game that's what they want we have quick start rules so i uh So prepare to play. We've got all sorts of playing the game. I do apologise for the glare. I can't do too much about that. I don't have a professional studio. I'm just a Mickey Mouse producer. But uh, yeah, so it's looking looking good. So uh, enough to play. Yep, and. Uh, Nice bits and pieces. So that's... Yeah, so the Commander's Edition is the one that I've got to get. So I'll get that eventually. But at this stage, that's good. Now, these are the buildings. These are the little card buildings. I re Look, I really don't know what they're going to be like. Friends of mine say they like them. I can probably use them for... Oh, dare I say I can use them in my epic. My 40k epic. They'd make nice buildings. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sad, aren't I? So anyway, we've got we've got buildings, quite a few buildings galore by the looks of it. Small, large, all looking good. So that's the buildings. Lots of buildings. More buildings. Then we have which is quite nice, a nice card. It's on good stock too, so it will last you the length of heaven's nose. And dodgy trees. So dodgy trees and some objective encounters that are used in the game. So anyway, look, there it is. That is my quick look at what's in Battletech Alpha Strike. And uh, as I said, for me, I only bought this box because of the mix. You know, it's uh, what are they? How many are in there? What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. So for the uh, so it worked out to about I think ten dollars a mech, which is not too bad. That's Australian, by the way. Our beer bottle top economy. But uh, anyway, look, if you've played Alpha Strike, let me know what you think. Uh, look, the mix, really nice. I will uh, have a lot of fun. Actually, the, the one thing I have noticed is that they are very, um, I think, the production uh, release fluids or whatever, that they, I, I would suggest that you do give them a good wash with some soapy water before you uh, start work on them because that plastic is very very well I'd use the word slimy it's very um, yeah I, I can I can just see paint uh, falling off it but uh, yeah there we go so look thank you everybody for watching and until next time signing off the Honourable John <laughs>